Well, I think it was uh, mainly on the ground that uh, there was a sort of a conflict of interest uh, by the trial judge, namely at the material time when the alleged uh, conduct happened, the trial judge uh, was uh, the legal counsel of a bank, and it was uh, that bank uh, by which uh, the alleged uh, transfer of money into Najib's uh, account uh, took place. So that was the main, I think, the main ground. But I think um, it was uh, sort of, uh, in a sense, rejected by the court uh, today when the court refused to uh, let Najib's legal team introduce uh, that piece of evidence. What has been the response of the prosecution to this argument and what's expected to happen during the nine days of hearings now? Well, I, I think uh, Najib would have, uh, or at least his legal team would have an uphill struggle in terms of convincing the judges of uh, Malaysia's federal court, that's the highest court of the land, to uh, overturn, uh, number one, his uh, conviction by the trial court, and then uh, the affirmation of his conviction by the Court of Appeal, because uh, I think those judges, they gave very exhaustive grounds for their judgments. So his legal team would indeed need to uh, redouble their efforts to convince the judges of the uh, federal court. How likely is it that Najib Raza could be successful in his appeal? I think uh, at this point, uh, a lot of comments are perhaps uh, slightly uh, pessimistic as to uh, his uh, chances of uh, getting his uh, conviction uh, overturned. And uh, I think that the judges uh, would indeed uh, uh, once again uh, uh, issue very exhaustive legal grounds uh, for their judgment one way or the other. So if he's not successful in this appeal, like you said, this is the highest court, no further avenues for appeal, will he be sent to jail finally? Well, if the highest court uh, affirm his uh, conviction, he is likely to be uh, going to uh, prison. But of course, there is also the, the prospect of a pardon or commutation of his uh, sentence by the Malaysian king. How do you think Malaysians would react to that? Well, I think the Malaysians' uh, reactions are rather bifurcated. There are those uh, Najib's, uh, shall we say, diehard supporters who are of the firm opinion that uh, he is being politically uh, persecuted. But there are also, of course, the more progressive Malaysians uh, who would uh, who are of the opinion that uh, this is indeed a come up uh, for Najib Razak. So it's a very bifurcated uh, opinion in Malaysia. Najib has been open about his ambition to again run for office. Could you see this happening if he does indeed get a pardon? Well, in, indeed, if he is pardoned or his sentences are uh, commuted, uh, then it's uh, very likely that he will try to make a political comeback. I think his uh, support ground is still very strong and uh, he is willing to uh, indeed uh, make sure that uh, he has another political prospect. Meanwhile, when can we expect uh, Najib Razak to face the dozens of other charges against him relating to the 1MDB scandal? Well, they are ongoing, actually. I think uh, he has at least one other trial ongoing, and there are, I think, at least one or two more uh, in, in the queue. So even if he is, uh, in a sense, exonerated from this particular case, he is still facing a long the queue of uh, other criminal charges. Mm, so but how... of course, if he's not convicted, then he could still run for office. Again, for his supporters, these are politically motivated charges and therefore I don't think they mind at all that he, he is uh, sort of in and out of courts. Yep. So how long do you think this whole process will take? When do you think we'll find out the fate of uh, Najib Razak? Well, with this particular appeal, if uh, indeed the hearings will conclude in a week or two, then uh, the judges of this uh, federal court, uh, they are likely to issue their rulings, let's say, by the end of the year. And I'm, again, I'm sure it will be very exhaustive uh, or, shall we say, very thick bundle of uh, legal grounds. Dr. O.E. Sun, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you.